Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am making a one pan supper. Um, ideally, now ideally, you can make this in like an hour and put everything raw onto the sheet. My husband has to leave in an hour and so he needs to comfortably eat and then leave. So I'm gonna speed this process up. But like I said, usually all you do is prep your vegetables, season them, and also the meats and put them on that pan but i'm going to speed the process up <laughs> let me show you what i have here in order to make my one pan supper so i have brussels sprouts and i also have sweet potatoes red onion and this is the chicken juices from when i bake chicken so i have that there i always freeze it i keep it frozen and i just break a little piece off and that adds seasoning you know a nice homey savoriness to a meal and I have carrots a red bell pepper a red pepper and then I have thyme rosemary and also kind of a mixture here this one has Italian parsley rosemary and thyme so I'm just gonna put a little of each in there this one has parsley so I'm gonna put some in there too um, I have smoked apple chardonnay chicken sausage I have turkey smoked sausage because <laughs> it had five in here when I bought it. My husband ate three and there's only two left. So I'm mixing it with this and these are delicious. So it's going to taste good still. I have uh, unsalted butter and we got that kind of on mistake. I usually use salted, but it's okay. And we have olive oil and white button mushrooms. So let's get started. So what I have done here is I just slather the outside with olive oil and that way the skins don't burst. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about five minutes and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the other vegetables. I'm also gonna take the outer skin off, or the outer layer of the carrots off with this, the peeler, and I'm going to chop these kind of on a small scale and I'm gonna put these in the water, I have some water going. I'm gonna boil those just a little bit because I want these to roast, not boil and you know, I want these to roast, but I just have to get them started because of the short amount of time that I have. And I'm going to get going. I also salted these and I'm going to pierce these maybe about five times in each one, and that helps them to get softer quicker. And now these are going in the microwave for five minutes I like to keep a garbage bag and that's the easiest for me so I can just throw it you know bag everything up and throw it away when I am done leaves less mess and also as you see I put aluminum foil down on my pan and that makes for a mess free cleanup afterwards. I think two of these would be enough. Carrots are very hard and that's why I am kind of getting them a little soft by boiling them beforehand. So I'm just slicing them up into smaller chunks. If you remember, first you want to put down the olive oil and the butter. And I'm going to slice up my butter, put it on around the pan, maybe about a half a stick. I'm going to put it around on the pan and put it in the oven to melt just a little bit, maybe three minutes. And it's going in the oven. So we're going to open these. I'm going to wash these off in this colander. Take off the outer leaves. And slice the end of the stems off. Now this is your dish and you can make it any way you want. I wanted mine separated out because not all the people in my family like Brussels sprouts or sweet potatoes. So I divided those out and this will be the side with the sausage, onions, mushrooms, peppers, and the other things. But I'm gonna put some cinnamon 
on here. I've already put honey and brown sugar and butter. And on the Brussels sprouts, I am putting Italian seasoning. I already have the olive oil and butter on the pan. I'm putting a little Saison and I have it in the shaker because I use it pretty often, but and you can use the seasonings that you want. I'm also putting my McCormick blend in here. It has the sea salt, black pepper, and garlic. It's almost gone. Towards the end of cooking, I'm going to put Parmesan cheese on these. Now I'm going to get the other side prepared. So I have all the veggies on. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of the McCormick's on. I'm going to put a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Just a little. It, this is not harsh at all. It's almost like seasoning salt. I'm going to put some garlic powder since I don't have any garlic in here. I should be having garlic in here. So do remember that if you love garlic, put it in there. So I have the thyme, rosemary, and parsley sprinkled on that side. And I'm going to put a couple of pats of butter on here and also on here. And then I'm going to put the sausage on. And in addition to the butter, I'm putting a little bit more of olive oil on there, you guys. I just wanted to show you that. All right, so I'm just going to stir it, just juice it up a little bit. I was just going to let the butter sit on top and melt through, but it'll get on there. So however you want to do it. Because I am going to take this out halfway through and stir it make sure everything's coated with everything make sure the mushrooms are coated too okay now i am going to put the sausage on top of here and that sausage taste, the juice from the sausage and the flavor is going to melt all down through the vegetables. And i got the apple and the regular turkey. This is apple chicken, as I showed you earlier. Let me take that apart. And then this is the regular. Regular turkey smoked sausage is actually butterball. You can use whatever you like. Put that all over top of there, get it all nice and flavorful. And then halfway through when I turn everything, I'm going to mix the sausage in there. I'll be back. All right, guys, so here it is. I put the sausage on top and it's looking delicious. I know you can't see the vegetables, but they're going to be cooked so good. All you do now, if you were doing this from raw, you're gonna, you know, you're, you're gonna bake it for an hour. You're gonna bake it for an hour, but since you're gonna do it all from raw, you want to set it for 30 minutes, and then you want to put it in the oven. After those 30 minutes, take it out, stir each section, and then put it back in for another 30 minutes. And then you want to sprinkle Parmesan on top of the Brussels sprouts. Put that in for a good. 10 minutes and if you want if you want you could put it under the broiler for about two minutes but if you don't feel comfortable doing that you think you're gonna burn it don't do it <laughs> and if you're doing the quick method like i did if you just kind of parboiled it or whatever you're going to do it for about 35 40 minutes that's the total time and after 20 minutes you're going to stir everything then put it back in for another 20 and then you're going to put the parsley, I'm sorry, the parsley, the Parmesan on top of here. Put it back in for about 10 minutes or so until it's golden brown and everything is just looking good. But all right, guys, so here we go. And it just helps to have this little garbage bag here. 
everything goes in that way no gnats and flies and stuff or whatever is drawn to it won't pull any books to the garbage can get it all in there tie it up tight and you're good to go This is one of my staples that I keep on hand. It's the McCormick All-Purpose Seasoning, Himalayan Pink Sea Salt, Black Pepper, and Garlic. I am not going to take time and flip everyone over. If it gets turned over, it does. It doesn't it doesn't but I'm just trying to get it get them coated with the oil and butter stir them doesn't have to be perfect all right we're going to ooh, look at that I bet this is tasty this together stir these a little you can hardly see the mushrooms mushrooms they shrink a lot so you can mix them in with the others if you like like I said it does not have to be perfect but you do it how you like it all right Now, I am going to put the Parmesan on top. I'll sit them back in the oven for about five to ten minutes. I think five will be enough because I don't want the vegetables to be mushy. And here it is out of the oven. I'm gonna put some parsley flakes on top of here just to add a little green and a little fresh taste there. And even on here. And we are good to go. And there you go, your one pan supper. Enjoy. And this is Mr.'s plate. And here is mine. I played it. Mine's a little different than hubby's, uh, but this is mine. And I have water to drink. Bon appetit. <laughs>